What's going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys on this Saturday. I guess I can say Saturday no afternoon. Yeah. Um, this reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart, North Node. Um, to my returning OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really appreciate you guys. To my members on the community, mm -hmm. I love you guys to the moon and back, you know that. Um, like I said, if you clicked on this video, hit the like, subscribe, hit that join button, become a part of the members on the community. We'd love to have you there. If you'd like to donate to the channel, there's a super thanks below. Anytime you donate to the channel, your name is entered into a drawing for a free 30-minute personal reading with me. I'll be doing those drawings every month, okay? If you'd like a personal reading, everything you need to know about me will be in the description box below as well. Let those ads play for at least 30 seconds so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. I love you guys. You know that. So, Scorpio, when I was meditating on your energy... I'm getting that somebody is having very lucid dreams, very vivid dreams, dreams that feel like really real, like you you could be running in your bed, like or trying to punch somebody. You could um, literally like put your hands around somebody's neck. I'm getting it's just that real, okay? I just heard, okay, or, or maybe it was a nightmare. Okay, take this how it resonates, but the point about this dream is it feels real. Okay, it's making you, it's materializing in your physical world, okay, in your 3D, but this is happening in the 5D, okay? So, I feel like a lot of Scorpios are going to bed at night and they are warring in the spirit. And I feel like this is, I feel like you, you're not aware of it. You, you feel the sore, soreness of your spiritual muscles in the morning but you don't really know what that's about okay so this message is for you so for some of you guys this is a dream some of you guys this is a nightmare take it how it resonates that's just the energy i'm getting from this okay i'm also getting you know scorpio no matter how much a person says they've healed and they've moved on from the past i feel like scorpio you feel like it's I don't feel like we feel like this, but I feel like it's just preposterous to think that something that shaped your very character, your very, you know, encryption of who you are as a person, the journey that, that made you who you are right now to this day, they want you to forget that shit. Forget your past. That's that's the advice people give us. Forget your past. Move forward. Yeah, you can move forward. But why I got to? Why why do society want you to forget your past? But that's how they that's how they um come up with ways to deal with us as a society. They go by our past behavior. If you if you involve a police in a high speed chase and you shot at the police at any time in your life. You could have been 15 years old. When you get 21 years old and they run your tag and your name come up and they show that you put the police in a high speed chase and you shot at the police, your ass going to be on high alert. That's just dead on fucking this. So why they don't want, why they, why, why society wants you to forget your past and move forward while they, they taking your past into consideration of how they deal with you? They take your past in consideration with how they sentence you. If the past ain't important and move forward, then why why is the whole 3D world centered on your past? Okay, I, I, I want somebody to follow me in the spirit with this. Because you got to stay woke. Grab your blunt, your wine. I'm almost drunk mine, but... Whatever you need to tap into these energies, Scorpio. And let's tap in. Let's talk about this shit. Let's discuss it. You know, and that's why a lot of people 
fall short because a lot of people feel like they haven't healed from their past because they feel like we feel like that's some type of duty like that's some kind of benchmark that lets us know we're doing good in life now we're we're spiritually um becoming into ourselves we're we're learning about spiritual things no what if we didn't know about our ancestry what if we didn't know that you know, they used to get hung and they were slaves. Come on, it's bullshit for somebody to tell you to forget your past and move forward. To just forgive and move forward. And you know what we chumming, you know what we chumping up and say? I forgive you, but I ain't gonna forget. It's the same shit. <laughs> Cause that's the energy. Like nobody gonna forget they fucking past. Yeah, I forgive you, but I don't forget my past. I'm not, you can never just Stay, let your past be your past, okay? I don't know who that message is for there, but um, that's the energy I'm getting. I'm, I'm getting the energy like <clears throat> vivid dreams, something downloads. You know, we talked about we talked about getting rest and exercising in another video. Some of you guys could need to lose weight. I, me. I'm about to start back exercising and walking myself and drinking more water. I mean, it's just like, that's the energy I'm getting. Somebody wanting Scorpio to forget they past and just like move forward. Like they don't understand why you ain't able to move forward. Your first card out is the Ten of Cups because you choose to be happy. Like your past is a part of you. Why would I want to forget what you done to me? Why would I want to, you know, yeah, I'm moving forward. I can't do nothing but move forward. So your your first energy out is the Ten of Cups. And you have renewal here on the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. Of course, you have no you have no choice but to move forward. Archangel Jeremy. Somebody could be renewing their vows, okay? I feel like somebody is still making somebody happy 10 years, 20 years later. Somebody could be having a 20 or 30 year anniversary here. I'm hearing that. And it's not because you forgot about everything they did to you. The four, four cups on the bottom of the deck. That's not why y'all have a 10 or 20 year anniversary. It's because you didn't forget what they did. But what they did to make up for what they did is why you forgot what they did. Who am I talking to? This person made it all better. They made it all new. They make it all new. They keep their promise. Who am I talking to? I know who I'm talking to. I'm, I'm talking to somebody who... You know, they vengeful about their past. They saying they forgave somebody, but they haven't. Because trust me, if you if you could, that's why I said it's no such thing as, you know, forgetting your past and moving forward. It's no such thing. You could say that shit out your mouth. You could make this. My grandma used to say you could, let, you could make that little red wagon do whatever you wanted to do. You could pull it or, pull, pull it or push it. And she ain't lying. But we talking about facts and the truth. And some of us just flat out I'll, I'll let you know, no, nah, I ain't forgiving that bitch. No. Nah. It's unforgivable what they done, what they done to me. And that's why you haven't moved forward. And that's why you're still in these, we still in these relationships that, you know, sometimes they go for five and ten years and then they end. Like you tying up a lot of your life. And you happy. It's not like you in no bullshit. Like you in you in some good shit, but it's just like in ten years or some cycle happened where boom, it's over again. I know you know what I'm talking about because some of y'all done been through a couple of these cycles. But like I said, somebody is renewing their vows here. Somebody understands what the past means literally in the 3D and the 5D. All right, so your your overall energy is the four of cups, Scorpio. That 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 wanted to come out. 
So I feel like, you know, somebody, somebody just, somebody refuses to forgive their past. And I feel like karma is hitting this person. I feel like this person is not being, you're not able to sleep. And I feel like not only that, I feel like if you're a person that drank or you just sleep hard, I feel like God is giving you these vivid dreams to wake your ass up so you can retain these downloads. Because something about you has to change about your past views, your past morals, your past beliefs. I just heard the word win. When I hear the word win, win is changed. A change is coming, Scorpio. Whether you like it or not, okay? It's a renewal. I feel like it ain't going to feel good either. What am I saying? I feel like you're going to meet somebody, Scorpio, that, that is not a seasonal person. This person is meant to be implanted in your life, okay? This person is not going to always say what you want to hear. And their beliefs are not going to always line up with yours. But that's a good thing. The only thing is you have to be open, Scorpio, to really, truly forgiving your past. Not forgetting it, but forgiving your past. What do I mean when I say that? Well, let somebody else have an have a opportunity to prove themselves wrong or to prove themselves right. Give them that opportunity. Don't go into the situation, you know, wanting them to prove you wrong. Go in the situation thinking it's going this this could be the one. Or this could be the, the time. Go into it that way. I'm just getting that. Alright. So yeah, a renewal here. Somebody is renewing their vows. Somebody has stood the test of time. And when I say that, um, I, I, I really want to talk to the people in this corner over here. Because I feel like it's something about when I when I do these readings, my left side gets so warm. It, it I don't know how that correlates into YouTube world, but it's something about my left side here that lets me know this this is where my energy is being pulled. This is where this is where somebody is really taking in the message. So I'm gonna talk to this this side over here, okay? This person this person has. This person understands what love truly is that you're connected with, Scorpio, or that you're about to connect with. But at the same time, this person knows, too, that love is not delusional thinking. Love is not telling somebody a lie just to make them feel good. This person understands that sometimes love is supposed to hurt. I feel like a lot of times we, we, we don't forgive people because they hurt us. But listen, some people hurt you because they love you. You just didn't want to hear that. Who am I talking to? The queen of earth. Yeah, we so emotional at times, Scorpio. We, you know, we, we, a lot of us were not able in, in the earlier years to take constructive criticism. Why? Because we, we're so used to people already doing that. It's aggravating. It's aggy. It's fuck. So when somebody comes from a genuine place, like from a queen of water type situation, being tenderhearted, really empathetic, this person been patient with you. That's how you know they they've been loving you a long time through all your shit, through all your mood swings. You know while you were growing up. See, a lot of times too, we 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 talk from a place of where we at right now. We forgot the journey. See. Sometimes it's convenient for us to, to forget things, and sometimes it's not. Okay, so, you know, here this person is, you they're unmistakably in love with you, Scorpio. How do you know? Because of how it makes you feel. Because I feel like a lot of times this person check you. and, and when, But when they, they know how to check you in a way that's not going to come across where it's going to make you, where it's going to trigger you. Okay. That's why you know this is your person. That's 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 how you know you forgave your past. Because you be, you become open to somebody loving you. And let's talk about that too cuz I just feel like this message too with the 10 of cups being your first energy out Scorpio is how can we truly say we forgave somebody or that we um that we're looking for a soulmate 
when really in actuality we don't love ourselves. That's why, let's tell the truth, that's why a lot of relationships that we've been in haven't worked. Because at some point in the relationship, you get complacent or your person get complacent or you, you lose your identity in a relationship or you you try to you try to do too much to make it work or you you back off you close off so much that the connection is gone scorpio you know your our energy is in or out it's no you know in between you you withdrawing your energy can make somebody really go to a dark place quick especially if they love you it'll send a person to that hermit energy quick they try to leave you before they before you leave them when really that's not your intentions you just trying to show them they done pissed you off but they take that as damn Scorpio finna leave me they feel it it's it's ice it's very icy it's very cold frigid this person is very passionate about you too I feel like, you know, when you, when you guys are together, no matter whether it's kissing, whether it's hugging, whether it's sexual matters, I just feel like this person just, you can feel the love, Scorpio. Like, you you feel it. You feel it. The five of swords in reverse. Yeah, you, you, you conflicted about this person, Scorpio. It just gives me the energy that, like, when y'all fight, this person probably probably don't really fight they say what they say they really cool this could be an air sign with the five of air coming out in the in the reverse this person kind of calmly you you screaming you are right because we're passionate about what we're talking about right and an argument come on scorpio want the last word just period and i feel like you're dealing with somebody who just say what the fuck they mean and they out they out they they not finna they're not gonna raise their voice they're not gonna sit there and argue with you they love you too much and I feel like it's that kind of energy where it makes you truly heal yourself and begin to love yourself. Because you, you begin to understand what patience really is. You've learned patience, Scorpio, for other people's bullshit. You have not learned patience for yourself. You've always been busy, too busy to worry about self. You've always been too empathetic. You've always took it, taken on other people's strives and their bad decisions and trying to help them out while sinking yourself. And at the same time, the same person you're doing this sacrificing for, they somewhere talking behind your back or sleeping with somebody else. That's not this. The chariot is here. Archangel Mat Metatron. Yeah, this person, this person is a very, this is, this is a very important connection, okay? Your self-discipline and willpower, Scorpio, has to come into play. And, you know, I always say anything we put our mind to, we can do it. This chariot is giving me, you know, like, I feel like a lot of us Scorpios need to... I feel like a lot of how we feel about ourselves when it comes to self-love, yeah, it has to do with, like, childhood issues and stuff like that. But I feel like for a lot of us, I feel like, I'll say at least 45%, I feel like it's physical. Somebody don't like their weight. Somebody don't like this or that, how this or that is or whatever. I say moving forward, change that shit. Whatever going to make you feel better about yourself, do it. Do the work. The charity said do the work. You're going to do the work. Put your mind to it and do it, Scorpio. The five of swords in reverse and the chariot. Put your mind to it and do it. The queen of water. You passionate about anything you do, Scorpio. Because this person is coming. Or this, are you already with this person? Like I said, somebody, somebody is celebrating the anniversary. Or they're about to. This person tried and true. So... In other words, I feel like we, we have to stop measuring uh, people by their past mistakes. Like, you don't want anybody to do that to you either. Because you're not who you used to be. 
Well, you had to get to where you at, Scorpio. That's the energy I'm feeling. I don't know who this energy is for, but I just feel like it's important. I feel like whoever it is for, your ancestors been, your ancestors and spirit, spirit guides have really been nudging on you in your dreams. Okay? You could be waking up the same exact time every morning. Or spending the same exact time on the clock repeatedly. All right, what else? Yeah, the three of cups. I just feel like a lot of celebration, a lot of yeah, the four of um, the four of Earth here, the overall energy on the bottom of the deck. It was in reverse. It was in reverse. I feel like the overall energy is about you, about this person being very free hearted with you, Scorpio. Um, this person makes you feel alive. And I feel like it's, it gives me an energy like it's nothing you can pinpoint. Like if you was to give a speech about this person, it would probably read like a love story instead of a list. You understand what I'm saying? Like when some sometimes when people give a speech about somebody they've been knowing uh, 10, 20 years, they have to have they have to read off a piece of paper. I feel like if you if you was to speak about this person, it would just flow out of your mouth like you would just but you you would be describing the feeling of it. You wouldn't even be describing this person, you'd be describing how it makes you feel. That's 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 how that's how good this shit is. Scorpio, really, you know, I'm getting the energy, too, that you need to forgive yourself. <laughs> what are you not forgiving yourself about? Why are you not open to love, but you keep saying you are? Are you looking for love? You look, Are you? Do you love yourself, Scorpio? Do you love your yourself like the people you've always protected and the people you always bailed out? Because if you do... Then all the hard work and stuff we used to do for other people, now it's time to put it into yourself to make you better. Whatever that means. No outside influences. Nobody telling you about your relationship. And I feel like this person keep you so close to their chest, though. Like, for real. And not in no toxic, controlling type way. Like, just... They really do love you, Scorpio. They really want the best for you. Just period. And they know the best for you means them being the best they can for you, Scorpio. Mm, I love it. Why is the Ten of Cups here? The Page of Pentacles, good news. The Moon. One more. One more. Sir. The Seven of Cups. Yeah, it's the energy, like I said, Scorpio. It's like if you was to talk about this person, it would read like a like a love story. It wouldn't read like a list. It's like with the with the page with the page of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Seven of Cups. This is a love story. It's like you can't really like you can't really describe this person, but you can ex you can describe how emotional you feel about this. How this person makes you feel emotionally. The Seven of Cups, the Moon, oh man, this, and the Page of Pentacles. See, the Page of Pentacles is what's saying to me that this feeling is a good feeling. It doesn't feel like, you know, weird or like something's being hidden from you or like, you know, delusion, a lot of, you know, choices. This feels to me like this person is just promoting like so much love towards Scorpio that it's making you feel it's a feeling for you, Scorpio. It's not It's not something that you can sit and say, one, this is why I like this person, or two, this is why I love this person, or three, this is why I love... It's, you, you would just have to freestyle that shit. I love this. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. <laughs> I feel like this person don't want to be a player no more. The sex is really good. I feel like, I feel like Scorpio, you, you taught this person a thing or two. 
about six. I feel like they, I feel like they catch on quick. <laughs> yes, they catch on really quick. Okay. Um, this person is coming in quick too. This person, this person, like they, they made their mind up about you, Scorpio. Um, you let this person in too. I feel that. Why is renewal here? The six of swords. Yeah. Renewal is here because you you were spiritually guided um, away from whatever situation you was in, Scorpio, that had you feeling down or had you feeling where you really didn't completely love yourself, had you in a situation where you couldn't forgive the situation because you were, were feeling like you were continually in it, like you, you felt looped in this cycle of just meeting fucked up people, and then like an escape artist, you you make it you make it away from them by the skin of your teeth, and then only to find yourself in the same shit. Not this time. This time you renewed your mind, you renewed your heart, you renewed your strength, you renewed your faith. This is how this person. This is how this person makes you want to be Scorpio. This person makes you want to be better, and and not by controlling you, not by having these sayings, not by browbeating you. It's just, it's magical almost. It's spiritual, definitely. This person knows when to be quiet. This person knows when to speak up. This person, they're just so in tune with you, Scorpio, and your emotions. They really listen to their intuition about you. Okay, they're, they're really in tune with you. I keep wanting to say that. With the moon and the seven of cups and the knight of wands, they like, they're at your every beck and call. Like, they already know what you're going to say before you say it. They already know what you need before you even show a, 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 a need for anything. I mean, this they, they just, they on top of it. And it gives them joy to be like this. It's not a burden. It's not... It's not something they're looking for payback from. Yeah, look at that. As soon as I said that, damn, Six of Pentacles dropped out. They're not even looking for anything back. You got the Six of Swords and the Six of Pentacles here yeah. on renewal. They're not even look. This person do this stuff for you every day because they love you. Look at this. The Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. They work hard, Scorpio, to please you. I'm feeling that. They always will. Yeah, the three of cups. Three of cups twice. You guys do a lot of um celebrating. I feel like y'all hang out. <laughs> y'all just y'all like best friends too. Y'all just really hang out. Y'all I feel like this person is such a good person. I'm getting strong um energy air sign here. Could be cancer. We got cancer here, Scorpio here, of course. Okay. But a lot of celebration with you guys, a lot of um relevant announcements I'm hearing. I feel like you guys just like move through life just like nobody in your business. Nobody nobody feeling the need to be in your business. I feel like people expire to be like y'all. They love how y'all love each other. People love they see it's not fake. It's so genuine. This person y'all you guys are really in tune with each other. Like in every sense of the word. So like you know if some crazy shit go down. You know this person or this person know you really like. You know you really did some fucked up shit. Like if you do something that, that make them feel like it's fucked up Scorpio. You really did some fucked up shit or vice versa. Dang when I said that everything fell out. Alright the three of wands here. This person is definitely coming towards you. If this person is not already in your um, 3D Scorpio, they are on the fucking way. You could have even been dreaming. This could have been what you were dreaming about, okay? This person here. I feel like, too, Scorpio, you're contemplating your next move or what you're going to do in your career or business here. I feel like that's a major concern. You want to do something that um, inspires you, something that makes you feel whole. You're not, you're really not into doing just anything no more to make a living or nothing like that. You, you, you really, I feel like you're growing up, Scorpio, emotionally. Because quite frankly, I feel like that's, that's where we miss the mark a lot of times because 
we we view everything from that emotional fixed state that's how we see things and that's why people deal with us black and white it's a result of our energy so you know i feel like this this message too is about you being open to different things as far as your belief um base is as well scorpio you know your your past has has made you who you are has shaped your character it has uh you know your experiences in life has made you who you are so you can't forget it <laughs> that's why you who you are that's why this next joe blow can't play that bullshit with you because you went through this so I don't know how this really correlates with this relationship that come that's coming in for you or that you're already in, Scorpio. As you know, I, I feel like the message is be open to this person. Let this get this person the time to we weave, um, weave their web because I feel like in that is when you're gonna really realize who this person is. It's not gonna be a play by play. Okay, it's not going to be a play-by-play. -play. Where we at? Ooh, 31 minutes. All right, y'all know it's going to be a part two. What are the messages? So on the Queen of Cups, we have the Magician. Like I said, it could be an air sign, Gemini here. The Empress could be a Libra. Yeah, this person treats you, um, Scorpio. This, this person treats you like you're the last woman on the earth. Or the last man on the earth. Like the way this person. the It's like this person knows what to do for a woman. Or this person knows what a man likes. It's like. Yeah the strength card. Like they know. They have insight. Three major arcanas here. And the hermit on the bottom of the deck. Wow. This person wants you all to their self Scorpio. And what I like about this person Scorpio is. You know how you say if you if if you wanna um if you wanna be the boss you gotta pay the cost. That this this is that person motto. Like that's how they that's how they move. You feel me? Like they're gonna make sure you don't look no other no other way. How? Because anything you want, they they gonna have it there. You're not gonna want anything, Scorpio. You're definitely not gonna need anything. But you're not going to want anything. This person is so in tune with you that this person 50, 50 steps ahead of you and anybody else, especially the competition, they got you on lock in a good way. They're a good provider. They're a good husband. They're a good listener. They're, they give good advice. They're very smart. They're wise. This person knows how to take care of you and anything you got going on. What else? You're the two of swords. I feel like this person comes in a perfect uh, comes in at a perfect time in your life, Scorpio. When you need companionship the most. When you need guidance the most. I feel like this person I feel like this person comes 